Well, good Tuesday morning to you, everybody. I uh, hope you're having a great day. Hey, you know, in the last couple days, God has been teaching me a big lesson about patience. And I'm reminded of what it says in 1 Corinthians 13 that Josh referenced on Sunday, is that love is patient. And we're commanded to love the world around us. <clears throat> and sometimes things can really try our patience. As you see, I'm sitting in a parking lot waiting for my opportunity to go register a vehicle. Uh, if it's a whole new system, it is really not very user friendly. And so uh, after some frustration of yesterday and now back again today, uh, my patience is being tried. But I realize in the midst of all of that, that love needs to reign supreme. And you know, the, the systems that people put in place in the world sometimes aren't always the best, but it's not the individual workers' problems about that. Those are decisions that are made well above them. And for me to get angry or upset at any of the workers for the system that they're required to work under is just absolutely ridiculous. I just need to be patient. I need to demonstrate love. I need to show them that it's okay. And so I'm choosing patience today as I patiently wait again uh, for the third time to try to get this done with their new system. And it's okay. Uh, and I, I plan on being as loving and, and as accommodating to them as possible because God was loving and accommodating to me. So, you know, if patience is something that you struggle with, if uh, things don't go your way and it just brings anger to you and you don't like waiting, uh, God says, love is patient. Not only that, it says love is kind. So mix the kindness with your patience. Don't take out your frustration on any of the people that are in front of you. Just turn to God and say, Lord, fill me with your peace. Give me your patience and teach me to love. Today, if you need to do that, call upon him and I guarantee you, he will help you with that. God bless you. Have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow.